mining helmet. Really? I do like the mining helmet. Hmm. We're not really taking any head damage. It'd be a little different if you were able to find in these lockers any of the uh, protective vests. And once again, I'm blocked. So I can't get into these doors, and I can't get into these doors. So this whole section is, is locked off from me. It's feeling like the doors, uh, they can't be totally random. They've definitely been different. But they can't be totally random, because if they were random random, then you would be getting locked into these areas. Hey, we found something new! A flight deck! Hey there, Heliocopter. There's an Apache! Can I hop in the cockpit and activate the uh, the machine guns? I want to fire the minigun. Unfortunately, everything's busted. Up oh, controls. <laughs> busted, busted. Lots of ammo there, though. At least we got to something new. Probably gonna be a ton of zombies in that that large room, though. I keep forgetting. Uh, all right. So if I run away, we die. If I stand here, we die. There's, there's absolutely nothing I can do. We're going to die both ways. If, as soon as I start running, it'll instantly throw another rock and I'll be dead. Because they have armor-piercing rock throwing that always hits in the torso. And uh, if I stand and fight, of course, I'll also be dead. So... <laughs> I guess we'll uh, we'll go down fighting. Burners. Hmm. Now technically I could run away with my little tiny teeny pieces of hit points for my torso. Not that it's really going to accomplish much. I can't get in any of these rooms. We go jump in the water. Whoops! And about to get hit by another rock and die. How about the other side. Oh, we got no land in sight this time. No land at all. Hmm. Feral mechanic. As soon as, uh, in order to use these, I'd have to let the thing get into rock range, and a single rock will kill me. So I was hoping I could work my way up the outside edge of this, this, this ship. <coughs> <clears throat> Oh, oh, is this where the fancy stuff is? Headlamps, Cyfax, fire extinguishers. Can't go that way. Bathroom. More ferals gonna throw rocks at me. So I think this is another I am dead spot right now, because I know that door is locked. I believe the mechanic's coming from this direction. This guy will open the door and toss a rock at me probably before I can get to the door. Maybe I can get to the stairs. Nope. There we go. <laughs> yeah, these uh, these rock throwing ferals are just... in in. I mean, when you're in the open world, you can at least deal with it because they're not going to be so concentrated and constant. 
But being trapped in these narrow confines with so many of these instant torso damage enemies, and a single one of them can hit you, what, four times? Five times? I forget. And, I mean, that's just so, so, so much damage that you just flat can't avoid. I mean, as soon as you see them, you're basically getting hit. Well, um, hmm, what to do, what to do. What can we adjust, if anything? I'm not sure I can think of anything that's really going to make that big of a difference. Was that the fourth, or was that the third? I forget. I lost track. We'll say it's the fourth. Whatever. Yeah, we're not even making it out of the uh, the crew berthing area, for the most part. <clears throat> Short of uh, get knife or axe... Get lucky with positioning and kill a couple of soldiers to get the um, torso armor and a rifle. These pistols just aren't going to do it in these tight confines. You just you won't be able to get enough shots off. So it's feeling a lot like uh, random, random, lottery, lottery type of setup to me so far. If it was just soldiers, I could deal. But the, the overwhelming number of ferals is what's killing it. I just don't see how anybody's supposed to deal with uh, the ferals and their magic rock-throwing abilities. Melee martial art? I mean, it's not really a matter of me doing the damage to them. Yeah, occasionally it's that, but it's usually just open door, thunk. Walk downstairs, thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> and then your torso is shredded, and what are you going to do? Um, I could go with a more offensive minded character that's not really a problem to build but it shouldn't be necessary it's even uh, here's the funny part take a look at where it's positioned you have to pay points to take this <laughs> you gotta pay points to take a guaranteed death <laughs> scenario. Aikido is super, super defensive. It has no offensive output capability, really. Lots of blocks, lots of dodges, lots of move the enemy, but very, very little in the way of actual extra damage. So it takes a long time to knock things down or to kill them with Aikido. It's just a super defensive style. It's got its uses. It's helpful in various locations and such, but... Um, what I should be doing is when I'm trying to maneuver through the enemies and not fight, I should be not having something in my hand or forcing it to uh, to not use it so that the Aikido kicks in and does all the blocking and dodging and uh, throws and so on so I can maneuver and take less damage. But uh, It just has almost no, no damage output. But yeah, you got to pay four points for the pleasure of getting stoned to death. <laughs> Uh, there are other professions, yeah. So I, I took the chef profession as part of the, uh, you know, the theme of the challenge. But um, there are some other ones. I mean, does the rifleman actually start with a rifle? I don't actually remember. Yeah, I mean, there's an M4 right there. So it's not like you can't take things. 30 rounds of an M4 would help out quite a bit. Find that. That uh, that machine gun again, and or get to the uh, get to the hangar bay and get the ammo off the helicopters. So, good old special operator with the, starting with the Kukri rifles, six cutting weapons, four. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you can take more power oriented characters. <coughs> huh. I was just hoping that um, you know. I could do it with a, a less power-oriented character. I don't see how it's possible, though. It's 
So let's go ahead and um, we'll, 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 we'll try it. Let's let's do a more of a combat power build. So we'll go new game, custom character under CDA Siege. We'll bid adieu to uh, Stefan Seagull. Take the pilot and fly off. Those helicopters look pretty trashed, and I'm going to bet there's a ceiling. <laughs> you probably have to get the lifts running and get it, get the uh, helicopters up onto the deck. I haven't even gotten really to the deck, the flight deck yet. So, ah, CVN Sailor. What, should we just go straight to Special Operator or take the, uh, the Rifleman? Cost eight points. Eight of the points, but you get an H and K, MP5, and nine mil ammo is fairly easy to come across. So this is probably the best one to take. Take the Kukri with the MP5. And you start with a dive bag as well, so you pretty much got all your stuff. Yeah, let's just go special operator. Let's see if it makes a difference. Uh. We're going to have a distinct lack of points because we're having to pay for the scenario. We're paying four for the scenario and we're paying another eight for the profession. <laughs> so we're going to have no points to spend. Uh, so I don't know if I can really afford anything. Our core's minimal use in here. I don't know if I can afford to go with any of the martial arts and take the skills I need to, to get the uh, techniques. I forget, does uh, Kukri actually work with any martial arts nowadays? Uh, a Screama. And, uh, well, I'm not sure Ninjutsu still works with it. Does it still? I don't think the wiki's up to date anymore. Probably a Screama is the only one. That's under what? Melee training? Another six points? Yeah. <coughs> we wouldn't be able to actually put any points into it. We have a pretty big problem there. Because for a Screamer, we want to get to melee four, so we'd have to spend six points for that and spend, what, one, two, three, let's spend four more points in order to get the uh, the melee four. Um, you get all the techniques. I just don't think we could, we could afford it. We'll give it a try. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But we'll say uh, melee training. We'll go for a screama if we can manage to put it together. We're just going to leave all this alone. Actually, let's go with a somewhat dim. Uh, special operator. And we'll even drop a point off a person. I'm going to leave those this, where they're at for the moment. I gotta make up seven points. I can only do 12. That's gonna leave us five points. Youch. <laughs> Youch. So, uh, what was I taking? Fast metabolism and imperceptive healer and XXXXL and uh, I think it was heavy sleeper. I fill in that last point with. So, there's our neg 12. Gets us our five leftover points. And I've got to spend points. Oh, that's right. We start with some here, don't we? I forgot. We've already paid for some of this. I forgot. So melee four is what we need to unlock all of the Escrima stuff. So we've already got melee four. So I don't have to spend any points here. Technically. So we could pick some traits or some stats. We could do that. Uh, I would like... At least indefatigable. I think that's what we'll go with. Look at that. Athletics 3. Maybe we can swim for it. Actually, special operator in the wetsuit would be the best option. <laughs> put put a bunch of points into athletics and then just dive off the side and head to town with all your gear. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. 
All right, so this is more of a power build. Uh, so we'll do uh, Stephanie Seagull. The 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 sixth. <laughs> Still gotta go big and tall, or big and young. All right, so we've got our maxed out stamina build on a special operator profession with, uh, not maxed out, but max technique, Escrima. Go ahead and save that one. Let's give it a try. Well, this looks pretty familiar. Watch, we're gonna get handed all the stuff. My welding cart sank again. <laughs> what are you? Freshwater research station, freshwater research station. Right. Uh, what do we start with? Army pants, shorts, chest rig. Got our dive bag, our MP5, that we should be able to get some uh, ammo from the Pilots, if nobody else. We got our Kukri. We do not have a ton of chest protection, though, so we're still going to be looking for the fastest uh, ballistic plate protection we can get. <clears throat> okay, let's go with the uh, Kukri and throw on the glasses. How does an aircraft carrier end up in a lake? I don't know. How do interdimensional aliens come visiting? <laughs> how, do, how do any of the, the weird stuff happen? It's posited in the scenario description that the aircraft carrier got teleported. You know, Philadelphia experiment. It got sucked into a portal storm and then deposited over here in the, uh, the lakes. <clears throat> That's what happened. All right, let's see how much of a difference this power build makes. Field-toed sneakers. Do I need to replace anything, or is all my gear pretty good other than the chest armor? We're really just wearing army man pants and um, swimming gloves, tactical gloves. We've already got the boots. We've got a tack helmet. Actually, can I... Oh, we got a mining helmet nearby, too. Huh? I'm going to go without that. Mm. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Door is locked to the east. Don't really care about this room. I wonder if I should go straight for the flight deck. <clears throat> Before I get all messed up, just go straight for the flight deck. Oops, I'm going the wrong direction. Other direction. And I can't go south. I think that's where I did not go previously because I kept seeing this. Can't remember if the flight deck was on this floor or the one above. Or not the flight deck, the the, the hangar where we saw the helicopters. Footsteps, so there's a feral. get to the stairs without getting rocks thrown at me by ferals. Hey there, Mr. Burner Man. And a whole bunch of no damage and a whole bunch of missing. Good old Kukri, you're not doing your job. Hey there, Eskrima. So, 
Accuracy buff. Combo round strike. Lots of strikes, just not going to do a lot of damage to any of the uh, heavily clothed armored guys. Combo strikes about my only real chance. One damage. Youch. Hey there, Kukri. 26 cut, huh? Time to go around, I guess. That or get out the gun. And for the gun use, I have to get a I have to get a light. I need a flashlight. I left the mining helmet behind. south hmm. uh oh all right let's bring the noise let's set this place on fire <laughs> it reflects off of his hide. Oh, man. I have enough maneuvering room back here to get around these two guys. Uh, maybe. Come forward one more, burning man. There you go. No grabbies. No grabbies. No grabbies. <laughs> hmm. Ah, here comes the real danger. <laughs> the ferals heard me. He's still not down. That's why I hate nine mil fighting soldiers. That's why I didn't use those pistols all that much because I knew this was going to be an issue. How many shots has this taken so far? <laughs> so many. Now let's go for the Kukri on this guy. That's what I figured. Great against unarmored. Hey there, Spooky the Bee. Oh, we took a mountain of hits to kill it to shoot that guy. Look at all these shots. Was that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? <coughs> nine shots, I think, to kill that thing. And of course, we've been making noise. Oh, what do we? <laughs> Blunderbuss. That's funny. Here's the uh, flashlight I needed, at least. Alright, well we've got a ballistic vest on. We're still in okay shape. Let's throw in our earplugs. And then rest. All right. 
Well, hey, Mr. Burner. Of course you got a good hit in. Forty-three torso encumbrance now. Uh, I don't remember. Your wetsuits have. Oops, that's not what I want. What the hell? And it does have protection value. Uh, leave it alone for now. All right, so we're on the upper level. Trying to get to the flight deck or the hangar. So that's going to be at least one more feral. Oh, never mind. Can't open the door. So was I stuck not being able to open either of these doors? I think I was, which means what? They're forcing me to go out onto the railing and then forward and then coming back in, if I remember right. Hey, soldier. Uh, Ukri is not helping me. <laughs> of course, I get a 29 point crit stun. One damage. And another crit stun. Now all of a sudden the Kukri has decided to start doing some damage. So there's some more 9 mil. Hey there, feral mechanic. Hmm. Oh, and the other one's locked. <laughs> Of course it is. Fine, let's go get the attention of the feral mechanic. What's the range on this thing? 14, huh? He's at 17. We knocked him down. Interesting. Is he bleeding? Heavy bleeding. Let's just let him bleed to death. He has a hammer. That's kind of rude. <laughs> uh, so rude. So that's definitely the another way to the hangar, but that's not the way we saw last time. 
So these doors do seem to be changing their their arrangements. Definitely. I was gonna. I was hoping to see if I could get a peek up here before I got uh, sucked into a big fight. Uh, I should go for the Kukri. What the? <laughs> uh, they jumping down from above? I'm assuming that's what's going on here. Battery climb. He couldn't have climbed up from below. That's a two story. Lots of them falling on the log. Yeah, I haven't been watching. Lots of whumping. Yep. Firefighter falls down a level. Firefighter falls off a ledge. Soldiers falling off ledges. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that makes things a little more complicated. Oh, boy. wonder how many of them are going to end up on this outside ledge. That's what I was afraid of. I can't leave this behind. They haven't actually moved off the railing yet. Oh, there they go. God damn frickin' ferals! Screw it. Let's run for it. Flight deck! We made it to the flight deck, finally! <laughs> how, ma how many ferals are out here? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five ferals. <laughs> twenty-five. Are these holes in the deck or are these... It says white, white and red deck coating. All right, so it's just coloring for uh, the landing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, inflatable boats. So is it possible to dump these over the side and then hop into one? Hand paddles, inflatable airbag. Or do you have to find like an undeployed version? So one of the questions I had with this scenario was, uh, is there a way of actually getting off the boat? <laughs> so, another helicopter, another Apache. Yep. Whoa, perfect condition Apache. That's scary. That's scary. So those miniguns are going to be full of bullets. Unfortunately, it's what? 308? I think it's 308 rounds. Anybody remember for sure? I, I want to say it's 308, 762, not 556. Another Apache damaged down that way. All right, so we still haven't made it more than two spaces deep on this thing. Uh, I don't see any other ways down other than the uh, the ladder we just took up. There's stairs way over there. And there's stairs across from where I'm at currently. Yeah, essentially. Hmm. Yeah, I don't often see too many uh, mint helicopters. I don't know whether that's intentional or not. Well, we obviously can't stay up here. We're now three floors up. Yeah, so. 
That'll be a long way to the water. I just want to hop into the cockpit and then just just blap everything. I mean, if, if, if all I can do is get into the cockpit and it lets me fire the gun. There's only about um, five deaths worth of rocks between me and the helicopter. <laughs> you know, just, just five or so deaths. Worth of uh, torso damage. <clears throat> nothing, nothing to worry about. Okay, well this is not survivable, so back down we go. This is rapidly becoming not survivable as well. They'll be able to come at me two at a time with the uh, the railing. Can't go past them. We should at least try to get rid of the uh, the feral. I guess we'll keep going south and keep exploring until I can... Ah, another feral. Two more ferals. Mm, love it. They're, the rocks are hitting the zombies. That's going to be that hangar bay area, but there's going to be a bunch of guys in there, too. We say screw it and just run on in. So there we go. Yep. 308. It has no wheels. The only real question is, can you hop in and, and fire those uh, those Gatlings? Ah, there's actually a soldier in the cockpit. That's funny. That's funny. I think I'd be able to get in there and start shooting. Problem would be I just don't have enough I don't have the view range. No, nah, it's getting sticky now. Hoping to get in there and actually start shooting. All right, um, what do I have? No, uh, no medical gear yet, so we'll go ahead and grab some of that. This is the way in we had seen previously, but I believe I came down this side of the ship and came in this door and then saw the uh, the hangar. And we definitely, we don't have access to it this time because that door is locked this time. So it's definitely changing up things. 
Concrete mixer, soldering iron, aluminum welding wire. <laughs> All these bottles of antiseptic. I got, we got one dose. So, we found the toilets. That means we can make clean water. We can use the water purification tablets of, out of all these IFACs to uh, get some of that stuff going. Somebody's in here, right? Because the door was open. They already moved through. I haven't found a galley or anything else like that yet, either. No grenades. So, duck there. Ah, <laughs> one round. Yeah, we uh, we swapped out to more of a power build. See if we could uh, get a little further along. I don't know. The power build is helping, but I, I think it's mostly been luck in how I've maneuvered and what I've encountered where and so on uh, in regards to what we've seen here. It's definitely helping, but... Yeah, so these both of, both of these doors are locked, so my only way out is around again and I can't go out this way to here so it's either the hangar deck or it's the hangar deck <laughs> or it's out onto the railing in this direction hmm I guess we got down there as well I see you down there I want to get further down the other end of the uh, the ship. That's really my only goal. That door's locked. Figured. All right, that's going to go up onto the flight deck again, right? Let's not go up there. Eek. Yep, kind of figured. <laughs> ah, crap. I didn't go any further. Well, that's not what I wanted. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, so this is actually a dead end unless you go up onto the flight deck. I can't go in there. I can't go into the north. I'm stuck. Other than going back down again. I'm down right here. He 
Give me the wrench. What do you think? Take the fire axe? I'm gonna leave the fire axe. <clears throat> Ooh, two antiseptic that time. Alright, so we're down another level. Not going to be much in these rooms that I care about with this particular character. Well, possibly... Well, they're not going to wander overboard generally without... Yeah, they, they gotta have some kind of impetus to move. If I started shooting my gun off the side railing there, maybe I could draw some to start falling off the boat. I'm not sure. Not really interested in these birthing rooms at the moment. We've pretty much got everything I care about. I haven't been successfully down below too much yet. <laughs> One antiseptic. One antiseptic. What is going on? Give me some antiseptic, damn it. Uh oh. A different kind of room. Machinery. Um sure, let's fight him. What is my dodge? 1.3. Why are these guys missing me so much? I'm just getting a lot of stuns in? I don't feel like they're swinging very often. Uh oh. Painkillers, morphine. Shop toolbox with 14 items, 52 pounds, 54 pounds, <laughs> 34 volume. Good lord. Look at this. <laughs> That's funny. I'll just take the hacksaw things. Well, I have, uh, yeah, we have a screwdriver, we have a hammer, we have a wrench, we have a hacksaw. We have the four basic tools. Welding tank. I think I'm going to take off the tactical helmet. I'll probably immediately regret it. But I want to be able to turn on a headlight. How are you in the middle of the machinery there, Mr. Soldier Man? 
How did you manage that? Can't go south. Really hope this isn't a map that's got something weird like secret doors. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. Let's just go around and lock him in this little corridor. <laughs> Screw you! Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Bathroom stalls are locked. Oh, jeez, we're still only on the third row? <laughs> really? Oh my god. I guess we haven't made that much further progress to this south compared to my other trips. I'm just going to keep pushing south. Lots of machinery. Whoops. Well, hi there. Pilots and soldiers. And ferals. is taking so much so much less damage whoops uh, and I can't close the door because of the uh, the body in the doorway I really don't want to burn to death Grenades! I don't care, he can hit me. I want the grenades. Ah, infra goggles! We finally got something fun! Hmm. Mean water. We could try shooting the guy, seeing if we get the burn result. I don't want to go in there, because if the other side's locked, I might not be able to get back out again. And can't go west. I can't remember, can I go south from over here? And did I leave guys in the corridor? Nope, can't go south. Uh, which means I'm going to have to kill that guy. <laughs> 